Greetings all! Today, we will be examining the uncommon Steel Fairy type Pokemon Mawile, the Deceiver Pokemon. Though they might look somewhat cute at first glance, Mawile are deceptive creatures that will gladly use their powers of deception to get a handy meal out of anything foolish enough to approach them. Mawile have short bipedal bodies with black feet and black stained three-figured hands with a beige overcoat of steel material that hangs over their bodies like a second skin splitting a bit into ruffles near the base of their body. Their red eyes help to make their face stand out, as does the massive set of steel horns with a sprig of black metallic hair that come together to form a large pair of black jaws, with a yellow spot on the top, pink fleshy interior with tongue, and large, hard, sharp teeth. They also have access to a Mega Evolve form, in which they grow a second set of these jaw horns with larger sprigs of metallic hair, while the bottom half of their metallic covering, eyes, and the ends of their wrist cuffs turn bright magenta in color. In terms of their own physical abilities, Mawile are incredibly weak despite the fact that their bodies are coated in a permanent layer of organically grown steel, which is designed as their primary means of defense. As a result, their population numbers are less than healthy and have been effectively limited to dark caverns where predators are less common. Even so, Mawile have learned how to make up for the lack of offense by transforming their otherwise frail bodies into deadly weapons. Originally, it is believed that Mawile possessed a pair of long steel horns on the tops of their head as a defense mechanism against large opponents. Since they likely would have made it only easier for more dexterous predators to grab a hold of them and devour them, Mawile seemingly underwent a rapid and rather sudden mutation that completely changed the appearance, behavior, and fate of the species. Over time, these dual horns have grown and changed into a complex jaw-like structure armed with iron-hard teeth and the clamping power of a steel press. The jaw itself is not directly connected to the creature's gastrointestinal systems and contains no taste buds from Mawile's use to determine whether something is palatable to them before putting it in their actual mouths. But it is nonetheless connected to their heads by a thick strand of nerve tissue protected by a three-quarter inch thick layer of metal that allows Mawile to operate the mutated object as if it were an actual jaw. This abnormal growth has effectively become their sole source of offense and defense in battle, especially since it enables them to learn the powerful play rough attack, which is the only natural source of fairy type offensive power they have outside of a very weak fairy wind attack, and is very difficult to grow back if severed, making it the only major thing potentially separating them from complete extinction. In practice, however, this is rarely a problem, as these once humble creatures have turned sinister to accompany their new attributes. Mawile will often use their cute, harmless appearances to bring prey and predators up close to them, sometimes even feigning injury to enhance their luring powers. Once their target is within range, Mawile will quickly spin around and proceed to use the mutated horn structure on their head to bite and tear apart their target ferociously and relentlessly. Only heavily armored Pokemon are usually able to resist being bitten more than once before sustaining massive physical trauma from these sneak attacks, so the chances of any individual surviving an attack in one piece are fairly slim. Moreover, Mawile are able to reach out with their mutated horns surprisingly far, so the opposition does not necessarily have to be very close to them for them to launch a successful attack. Once a target is either subdued or killed, Mawile will proceed to smash and crunch their prize into fragments with their horns until they are in small enough chunks that they can be ingested through their actual mouths. This in fact can prove to be more of a hazard than their actual bite force, since Mawile have no reason to clean out the horns in order to preserve their own sanitary safety. This more often than not means that their steel horns are festering bacterial pits with which even the slightest contact can result in eventual sepsis. On rare occasions, Mawile have even been known to hunt members of their own species for food, though they usually must resort to more direct forms of deception, such as offering a meeting opportunity in order to succeed at their hunt. All of this pairs well with their possible abilities, as their immense secondary jaw strength allows these creatures to either scare others or keep their offensive power from being readily diminished, allowing them to have hypercutter and intimidate as base abilities, while those that are able to put extra power into their strikes while ignoring the special effects of their moves can also have sheer force as a hidden ability. As far as the stats go and looking at Mawile, it can be seen that these creatures, as mentioned before, are rather weak and do not have a lot to offer in the way of power with almost all of the base stats being below average for a fully evolved steel and fairy type Pokemon. 
The only exception to this is their base attack stat, which is about average for a fully evolved fairy type Pokemon, but that's fine with them, as these creatures can still be a nuisance in battle if their deceptions are allowed to go about unchecked. It is lastly noted that Mawile is one of only a limited number of Pokemon known to be capable of undergoing Mega Evolution. Using a held Mawlite, Mega Evolution almost literally doubles the offensive and defensive power of these otherwise unassuming beasts by forcing them to grow a new, separate set of jaw horns from their head, increasing the size, mass, and length of both horns in the process and increasing the height of their main body slightly in order to better counterbalance the weight of the horn complexes. This bizarre mutation increases the aggression of these creatures a considerable amount and grants them a ferocity even beyond what they are normally attributed with, though they tend to be a bit more level-headed and easier for trainers to control under stressful situations. Their mutated horns, on the other hand, are temporarily inflicted with a nervous system overload and thrash around violently as if they had a mind of their own, making it extremely dangerous for anyone to approach them if they are not completely placid. Even so, just as they did with one horn complex, Mega Mawile are able to control both of the massive jaw-like horn complexes on their head independently and simultaneously to a decent degree, biting and tearing apart opponents at every opportunity they have with the strength needed to reduce a boulder to dust in a single bite. Said opportunities tend to be many in number, as Mega Mawile prefer to utilize direct offense over trickery to win battles in stark contrast to the normal behavior possessing an extremely vicious disposition that leaves little room for mercy in their actions. In terms of stats, the transformation of these creatures into Mega Mawile moderately increases their base attack stat and critically increases their base defense and special defense stats, the latter being a consequence of possessing greater control over the horn complexes to the point of being able to swing them over and use them as shields. More importantly though, this sudden mutation activates a unique gene sequence within their DNA that enables them to harness and utilize a special type of psychic power to heavily amplify the muscular strength, effectively giving them the huge power ability and making them a total nightmare to any opponent without incredibly strong physical defenses. These creatures are certainly called to the sea for Pokemon for a reason, and I have seen just how skilled they truly can be when push comes to shove. They might not look like the biggest of threats, but of course, that is entirely the point of their deception and I can appreciate the time and effort they put into making it all work for them. Still, I think I would rather stay as far away from them as possible. Sure, they're adorable and can even be quite agreeable at times, but sometimes the mouth wants what it wants and I would rather try to avoid potential accidents if at all possible. I might be a bit... okay, a lot larger than most of my kind, but defense is still not something I can claim fame to, so I would rather avoid these walking personal injury reports as much as possible. While some might be fooled by the deceptive act they like to put on in front of others for the sake of a quick meal, Mawile are still fairly dangerous creatures that can make life difficult for anyone that isn't willing to take them seriously. They might need a bit of mega evolution power to make the most of them, but those willing to put in the time and effort to make that happen will likely not be disappointed with the results. Just do yourself a favor and try to keep on their good side and front side at all times. They might not always be direct on their own merit when they are agitated, but their jaw horns have little reason to hold back and will gladly munch on anything that gets too close to them, even if that might ultimately be the hand that feeds them. Thank you all for watching this video. It is always a pleasure to help teach others about the world of Pokemon and the many facets of it that exist in both the world we call home and the world they call home. If you'd like, please leave a comment and subscribe and ring the bell to this channel to get regular updates on content and anything else that might be going on. You can find me and my written work on DeviantArt under the name Utitis and be informed of information and content uploads on my Twitter page and my Patreon page. Donations are always welcome. Always remember, the world of Pokemon is a vast and varied place, and there's no telling what secrets might be hiding just around the corner. So keep watch, stay vigilant, and always prepare for the unexpected. Until next time, have a wonderful rest of the day.